thing. This thing sounds good. This thing sounds pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead. Right. See what we can do to this thing. Upgrades, here? custom upgrades. Visually, can we change anything? No. Just force the body kits and shit. Which I am definitely not down to put on this thing. Uh, engine swaps. What can we put on it? 6.2 V8 and a quad rotor. I am so down. Oh my god, 690 horsepower. Um, okay, I'm not down. I'm not gonna go all out. I will, however, turbocharge it. Yep, let's give it a turbocharger. I'm not gonna do a quad rotor swap on this thing. I'll probably do that in a different build, but I'm not doing it right now. I don't want this to have, like, fucking 900 horsepower. I want this to be good for drifting. 205s? 205s are actually pretty good. Especially for the size of the car. Anyway, let's see. What wheels can we slap on this thing? To, uh... To make this look a little bit more respectable. as a drift car. Actually, they don't look that... Yeah, they don't look that bad. I don't I don't even want to change them in size. Yeah, let's put these on. Why the hell not? Let's put some RPFs on. Yeah, I want to keep them in size. The size are fine. The way they are. Right. Now, let's go ahead and uh, pretty much purchase everything else that we need here. To basically lighten the car up and make it more... Responsive and all that sort of stuff. Let's just buy all this stuff out really quick. And then uh, we'll get to the engine and we see how much horsepower we can get out of this thing. And then um, let's get a sliding. I mean, I, al I already have the mark, the first gen MX5, the one that I had in. Uh, like, I've already done a drift build on it. Um, not the one that I bought today, one of them that I bought a really long time ago. The, the one for 94. That, that was already in the game. I've already done a drift roll on that, and it's actually surprisingly very good. It's exactly the words I used. It was surprisingly very good. Ooh, I like that. I was wondering if I can actually put like a little ro roll cage on it, if it actually shows up. It's actually really good. It looks really fucking good. All right, let's um, let's give it some decent horsepower. I mean, we're, I'm down. I'm definitely down to do like a low power build, but. I mean, low power as in what? Because like I still sort of want to get this to slide and be pretty much good in every in every bend or corner. So I sort of want this to have as much power as needed. Um, I probably just won't upgrade the turbo because I think the turbo will just add it like another hundred horsepower to it. So I think around four hundred horsepower would do nicely for this. How much horsepower? Yeah, eighty-five. Let's upgrade everything but the turbo, see how much horsepower we get in the end. And I think we'll just leave it there. What's going on, Fatak? 414. It's at 2,000 pounds right now. 424, 2,020 pounds. And 2012. Right, cool. Do -do 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 -do. Lower it first. Yeah, I'll lower it in here so you guys can see it. Um, I'll leave the tire pressure the way it is for the moment. We'll see if I need to change it or not. Uh, add a basic tune on this. Pretty much. Uh, tune that I like. This to one and one. Uh, anti-roll bars. Just stiffen the suspension the back a little bit more. Springs, the same. Let's just stiffen them up a little bit more. Both front and back. Drop it to the floor. Um, these are fine, I guess. I prefer the back on my cars to be a little bit softer for me, anyway. And uh, all right, let's pop this up to 100%. All right, what's it look like now? Ooh, there's a little bit of a camber at the front there. I like that. Nice and low. All right, cool. Let's change the design on it. I like this. The wheels need to be black, though. The wheels definitely need to be black. I don't know what color to paint the outside. What color would you guys want to see the outside of this painted? Yeah, I'm keeping this orange. Fuck you guys. I'm going home. Wheels. Black. Nah. Chrome. They're already chrome. I'm keeping them the way they are. 
Right now, can I add a tint? Does it make a difference? Oh my god, it painted the ti- Oh wow, it tinted the tiniest little window there. That's just next to the mirror. Alright, let's go drifting in this thing. That's This is what this is This is supposed to be about. Not a build on on design. It's a drift build. Now let's go test this thing out. Let's do this. Come on, game. Load your shit. Alright. Let's pop this down to the docks. Nice and easy place to test this thing out. <laughs> okay. Want an ice cream and a red MX5 you have there, Dubs? And alright. Already slides with ease. Without me doing anything to the tires or the transmission. Oh my god, is it so controllable? <laughs> Some nice long slides. Say this thing. Gears maybe a little bit longer. If it has the power for it, anyway. Damn, this thing is impressive. I like it already. No way this guy's following me. Why are you following me? I'm trying to get away so you guys don't crash into me. Alright, let's uh, do this then. Bring the PSI up to about 40 PSI. And we can make third gear, or pretty much all the gears, just a tiny bit longer. And uh, that's pretty much it. Overall, this thing just slides with ease. Yeah, this thing's easy. It's easy to drift. You can get a sideways and keep it there. And then just go. It's also really easy to control the angle as well, like it's... I forgot that you can't go underneath that. God damn it. Oh, third gear is so much better now. Alright, let's do some, some nice long slides. Let me get out of here. Xenon bulbs. Holy shit, that looks purple. What are these, a 12k? Or 12,000k? What the fuck Xenons are these? This is like bullshit. I just, this is bullshit you'd see on fucking modified Passats or whatever. Oh, these are... <laughs> I really don't like these Xenons. Honestly. These HIDs. I really, really don't like them. It's fucking purple. Honestly, it looks like 12,000 Ks. Which looks just really, really bad. It does slide really, really well, though. Like, it's... It's very easy to, like, change speed and change angle and all that sort of stuff. Pretty much all the good stuff to be able to control this thing anywhere. 